for the TARP or any of the <coughs> stimulus packages? You know, it's a, it's a, it's a good question. Uh, the answer is no. Um, and the answer will be no from me from now on. But what's funny is, is that the, 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 the question is interesting because of its origins. Remember what they were telling us? The end of the world is here. It's all over. Hank Paulson telling us it's all over. By the way, he worked for Goldman Sachs. Mind you, I am not here to attack Goldman Sachs. I don't really have an issue with the <coughs> fact that companies search out their own self-interest. I do have an issue when those people sometimes appear not to have the proper allegiance. Okay? And Hank Paulson worries me that way, and so does Bernanke worry me that way. I think it's imperative when we create positions like that, that they be absolutely above reproach. That there's no chance that we can ever feel like they're not worried about us first and nothing else second. Just us. So I worry about that some, some ways. So they, to, to the question, they told us the end of the world was here. They put a panic in all of us. All of us went along with the words because we trusted them. We believed in them. As I think in part we're supposed to do somewhat. But the, the lesson learned, clear lesson learned, is never, never let our guards down again. Never do it again. What you're doing here today is imperative to the decency of America coming back. Alexis de Tocqueville said this, right here, was the essential ingredient in maintaining freedom in the United States and the perpetuation of democracy in the world. This, the fact that you are holding people like me accountable. Absolutely, do it, continue. The answer is no, I will never support government bailouts of any kind. I will not support any government action that is beyond the original intent of the founders, and I, I, I will vote against it. Energy independence is compatible with free trade. Um, I had some difficulty uh, with this, uh, this notion. I know that this question was asked before. I believe in free trade. I am a free trade advocate. I believe that all of the problems in the world can be solved through free trade. The principles of Adam Smith. Um, so given that, my answer is yes. I think that it is compatible with free trade. I think that to continue the process of energy independence, <coughs> it is important to allow the free market to decide which areas of energy to explore. It is wrong of government to choose certain energy answers for us. It is wrong because what they're doing is they're rigging the game. Anytime government gets involved with us in any way, they rig the game. When we look at what's happened to the financial institutions and we want to really be angry with them, and I understand our anger, but they were playing in a rigged game. The rigging was, in that case, was the, uh, the assets, the toxic assets, that the government effectively created by forcing banks to make bad loans. The government did that. They rigged the game. So I am not in favor of the government participating in any way in energy decisions, and I do believe that the free market must do that. What immediate actions need to be taken to turn the economy around and stabilize the dollar? <coughs> um, the immediate actions that government should take are that it should shrink itself as quickly as possible. Uh, eliminate as many useless programs as there are. Uh, the Cato Institute lists um, about $500 billion that could be eliminated. Um, taking that money, which is ours, giving it back to us, which allows businessmen among this room, myself included, to invest in their own businesses. One thing that I am not in favor of us, emphatically not in favor of, is government telling, for instance, a small businessman, we're going to give you a special loan just for you. Because I'm going to say, well, where are you going to get the money? <laughs> oh, you're going to take it from my neighbor. Well, what about if he needs the money to do something? You know, I don't believe in taking from one man or one woman and giving to another man and another woman. Just because government should not participate in the process of picking winners and losers, ever. And when it does, it wrecks the ability of the free market to self-regulate itself and find its happy medium. Do you believe it is politically possible to undo the entitlements bankrupting this country? And if so, what course would you recommend to undo this legislation? I think it's imperative 
to undo entitlement programs. And the way that I would do it is to provide my natural inclination is, and back, remember I said I'm a scientist, I believe in experimentation. We need to get back to the business of figuring out best practices and best solutions to that end. Because what's happened, every one of these entitlement programs is a self-perpetuating flushing of the toilet. The more you have, the more people are wanting to take it. The more people that are wanting to take it, the more you need. The more you need, the more you take. So it's that flushing of a toilet that we're on right now. We need to stop flushing that toilet. We need to make the equalize the system so that, for instance, in the example of Medicaid, we, if a state chooses to do that, that's within their purview. The federal government, on the other hand, no. It, it needs to get out of these programs as quickly as possible. Some of the programs, such as Social Security and Medicaid, that we have committed ourselves to senior citizens, we must figure out a way to pay for the commitment that we made to these folks. We made a promise. We have a contract. But we should do it in such a way as to alleviate the bankruptcy e uh, effort that's taken on behind the scenes. Uh, and, and so, for example, in Social Security, let's pick an age where we can start moving people off of the traditional Social Security and more into an investment program like Bush tried to do. Unfortunately, he failed. I think he part, in part, he failed because he didn't do this. He didn't come to the people, to us. We, government, regrettably, ignores the fact that we, the people, are the government. Somewhere along the line, we lost that. That was the greatness of this country. It's we, the people. So we, the people, are more than happy to do the right thing for the country when the time comes. But it requires politicians and leaders coming to the people and explaining themselves well, offering themselves up to challenges, and looking to improve things over time. So I think it's imperative that we eliminate these entitlement programs that are bankrupting the country.